Let's go check on Miss Lewis over here. Oh my. Her eggs are hatched. Brooke, her eggs have hatched. No. Yeah. Where are they? I don't know. So we're gonna give Moody a good wipe down this morning. Um and get these flies off of him. Hey, right, buddy. That's what we're gonna do. We go ahead and get it prepared. So I will be ready for him when he starts eating. Sometimes, usually 90% of the time, me wiping him down with a fly spray doesn't bother him in the least. But every now and then, I don't know, maybe I hit a sore or something, I don't know. But, he's gotta be wiped down, he's got flies. Um, uh, if I wouldn't have stopped, if I wouldn't have got sick and stopped with the wasp for those two months, I think we'd have been a lot better off. I know people are still asking me, why don't I do the, the, the fly paper around a garbage can like Morgan's doing and and I may do that I may do that I just don't like the fact of how much trash it creates that's all um and Morgan even says that in his video he didn't either but you know he kind of ran out of options so I may be doing the same as he is all right buddy let's get you some feed and some fly control on you this morning oh I do have the ear tags he's already got holes in each ear so it wouldn't be like I'd be putting a new hole in his ear because I definitely wouldn't do that. But I do got the ear tags and they're also fly control as well. And I've been wanting to do that with him as well. I just don't know if he's gonna lift up or move around. We'll see. We'll see, but I know this works. Moody, did mama take care of you pretty good while I, I was gone? Hmm. I know she did. She took after that big boy. She took after that big boy. Yes, sir. All right, there we go. No more flies on this big baby right here. Why are you eating grass over here when you got a pasture full of it? Maybe that makes zero sense, man. You know that? But hey, at least you fry fly free. That was hard to say. Fly free. Y'all, it is a really, really hot morning this morning in Alabama. It's right at 7 o'clock and pouring sweat already. And I want to show you how hot it is. Y'all see? The sheriff back there, he's already in the pool at 7 o'clock in the morning. And there's Loki, making sure everybody's awake. It's 7 o'clock in the morning. Nugget, I may get in there with you, buddy. No joke. It is a hot one this morning, man. Whew. All right, let's go see what Mama's got planned for today. And before... Before we get to working on that house, I want to go check on Miss Lewis this morning. Make sure none of her eggs hatching. That's for sure. I just boss lady. I gotta go speak to her real quick. I gotta speak to the boss lady real quick this morning. Hey, Peachy Peach, how you doing, beautiful? Did you miss me while I was gone? I figured you did. I did. Hey, Paris, Fifi, Capri, Bootsy. Let's go check on Miss Lewis over here. Let's go check on Miss Lewis over here. Oh, my. Her eggs are hatched. Brooke, her eggs have hatched. No. Yeah. Where are they? I don't know. I saw her over here Did you? Well, her eggs are hatched. 
all of them. And those are those are hatched. That's not I see three for sure. One, two, three. Oh, there she is over there. No, that's a darn duck. Ain't it? I think that's a duck. I'm hoping they hatched and nothing got them. But that, look, that looks like a hatch to me. Yeah. Who is this over here? Was that a duck I saw? Let me look under here. All right, that's Ozilla and her babies right there. But not Miss Lewis. Hey, Ozella. Ozella, you see Miss Lewis? I don't see her over here. Hmm. I don't know why she would have got up, though. That's the, that's the thing. I don't know why. But Ozella did. When she got up, she moved them. She certainly moved in babies. And it's like trying to find a needle in a haystack, y'all. All right, I'm gonna check over here under the trampoline. This is not what I was expecting this morning. At all. Let's see. I may go get Mary Carl. Let her examine the eggs and see if she thinks they hatched. Man, they could be anywhere, though. That's the thing. They could be anywhere. I mean, anywhere. But I don't think she'd have taken them too, too far. Yeah, I was gonna get Mary Carl and see what she thought about the eggs, too. Well. Earlier, I saw her in here, yeah. and I thought, you know, she's just coming to eat. There's no point in me looking at the eggs because Mary Carl looked at the video, you know, where we yeah. had candled yeah. them, and she said, Mama, they got um, a little more than a week left. Uh -huh. and so I was thinking maybe about a weekend they might be hatched, but I wasn't thinking this early. They look like they hatched to Let me. me. Look at, I mean, not that I can. Yeah, but I only see three. But you know, Ozella's was like that. She got off hers, but we didn't see all the eggs. Yeah, but when I saw her, I wasn't paying attention. I wasn't looking for chicks. Yeah. Or, you know, but I saw her. How could she skedaddle that quick? I don't know. And then, that's big O and yeah, her babies. Yeah, that's big O and her babies. They look like they hatched. They look like they hatched. To, to me. me, they do. Yeah, that's what I thought. See how the tops of them are cracked like that? That's hatched. Yeah. Um, I don't know about this one, but it may be that something stepped on that one. You can tell where it pecked all the way around That's what it. I'm thinking. Hmm. Now I wish I came on over here when I saw her. And that, I looked under this trailer and didn't see anything. Or I called myself. You sent a Mary a message? Uh -huh. Unless they're on this side, but I just didn't remember seeing them right here. She 
wouldn't have gone far because, I mean, it hadn't been long since I saw it. All right, y'all. I just came over here, got through doing Moody's chores, Nuggets chores, and just came over here to show y'all and to show ourselves Miss Lewis was okay. And her eggs have hatched. At least three of them have hatched. I don't have them to the other two. But you know, the exact same thing that happened to Ozella was that she had eight eggs, five. I see her, I see her and they're all white. No. Yes. Oh my gosh, we gotta put her up then. All right, there she is. I see at least three or four white. Oh my gracious. Jason. Y'all see her? I see, I think I, they're all white. They're all white. Oh, we gotta find something to put her in. You think we can put her in the dog kennel since the dogs are no longer staying in there? Oh goodness. But she could fly out the top. This? How about we, how about we take the call ducks and we put them in the dog kennel? Okay, that'll work. And we use the dog house for the for the call ducks. Okay. And we use the big duck thing for her and her babies. Okay. But here's the other thing. What? How, are we How in the world are we gonna catch her? I don't know. That's gonna be hard. That's gonna be super hard. We do, we 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 don't need to push her off into no, the woods. No, I don't want her to go that way. I can't believe it. I can't either. I you literally. Know what Mary Carl told me the other day. What's that? Mary Carl told me the other day. And y'all take this for what it's worth, but. She told me that they might all be white. Really? And she said the reason is because for some reason she thought that the white would skip a generation. Uh-huh. And I didn't get into all the genetics with her about why she thought that. Right. And she said, Mama, if they are, we're going to have to take them. And so I just, you know, I was just thinking, no, it's not going to happen, so we don't have to worry about right. that. Right. But white peacocks are super rare. Well... Even if they wasn't rare, they're super vulnerable. Oh, yes. They're because... going to be really vulnerable to predators because we saw that with Miss Lewis. She had five. You know, we saw now that she's with Ozella. Now she's got four. Ozella, Ozella, I mean. And then she's got four healthy ones that are as big as they can be because they're camouflaged. Yeah, we, we definitely don't need to go up to her now. We're going to push her into the woods. We're going to wait. We're going to wait and see what happens. I she's, wanna know how she's still standing it. there. She's, she's not, standing there. Yeah. She's not scared of us. No, but if we come over there, she's gonna. She, we're she's gonna, gonna push go her deeper. off into the woods, and we don't want to push her off into the woods at all. I guess we're just gonna have to monitor the situation throughout the day and and see if we can't lure her. Back come on, Miss Lewis. We're gonna walk around. I'm just gonna walk around and see if I can see her babies. I'm not going in the woods. No, we're not trekking in the woods, and we don't want her trekking in the woods either. No, she's she's in a good spot right now. She ain't gonna see nothing. And they're up under, I think. No, we don't know where in the world she's gonna take them. I bet you, money, she's gonna take them back under that trailer. No, I I think she won't. I think that their instinct is to get away from that nest and eggs okay. for predators. And that's why Miss Lou, I mean, why Ozella took her babies off. And I think she's doing the same thing. You know what? They're smart. They're really smart. What's that? I know how Mary Carl got so smart. How? She got a smart daddy. <laughs> she, she got a way smarter mama. <laughs> oh, my. Mary Carl! Yeah. They appear to be all white. Yeah. But we don't want to push her in the woods. I can see them, Dyson. One of them's brown. One of them's brown? One of them's brown, four of them's white. But the brown one is light. And... I Ozella's. see three white ones. You saw four white I saw ones? four white ones. It looks like all five hatched then. Four are white and one's brown. What was it you were telling me about it skipping a generation? Sometimes the lighter colors will skip a generation. And you told me they might all be white, didn't you? She's kind of going into the woods. We don't want her to we track off. We don't want her to go in the woods. Y'all look. Y'all can see them moving right there. You see I her see head. I see right here, Jason. Come here. You can see her head moving. See her head. See them, baby? Oh, see. Ooh, so small. see how white they are? Mm -hmm. I don't know if I can find them on the camera because the sun's 
You can barely see some movement there. The sun's glaring right in the camera right here. So it's kind of hard to see. Yeah. Yeah. We thought we'd fix some water and put it out here. Your day said food, and then I said, well, no, because a predator will, might come. But we want to get them by tonight. I don't think we ought to put anything over here so they'll go back that way. No water or anything? No. May lure her back over here. I just don't know how we're going to catch her. She won't be that hard to catch, I don't think. So you going to catch her? I cannot believe it. I can't believe it either. I was not expecting them to hatch today. No. Whew. So, I guess we're going to continue to do our chores this morning. I'm over here emptying out Moody and the boys' water. I'm going to get it cleaned up real good. And we're going to just wait and check, wait and check, wait and check until we can hopefully get an opportunity to catch them all i'm hoping that's that's the plan anyways hopefully we can get that done today hopefully i think we could catching the chicks probably won't be that bad it's just getting miss lewis is the going to be the kicker so worst case scenario well worst case scenario is that we don't catch any of them the next best scenario is is we get all the chicks and not miss lewis and then the best case scenario is, is we get everybody. Or we may catch the, if we don't catch Miss Lewis, we catch the chicken, the chicks, the pea chicks, and that lures Miss Lewis in, and then we can get Miss Lewis. So we got several options here. I just don't know which one it's gonna be. All right, let's finish cleaning this water on out here. Well, me and Brooke, we've been, we've been moving. We've been doing a lot of moving. Um, I'll show y'all because there's really nothing else we can do. She actually went to the grocery store. It's raining. It looks like it's gonna be raining for a good little bit. So therefore, we can't try to catch Miss Lewis. And the babies, that's a good pillow all over. Me and you'll get in big trouble if you lay on that good pillow. We don't want to get in trouble, do we, buddy? No. So, we can't, we can't, we can't go try to find Miss Lewis and the babies because it's raining. So we're kind of just stuck in the house. We got plenty to do. It looks like a disaster zone in here because we're just doing a lot of unpacking. While it's raining outside, Brooke's gone to the grocery store. I think I'm going to surprise her by trying to get washer and dryer in. I never thought to go forward, I thought. Maybe going backwards is the ticket. I think I'm home free. Washer and dryer are in. Maybe Brooke could be happy that I got the washer and dryer in while she was gone. All right, come on, I gotta show you something. Come on, come on, follow me. Is this a bad thing? You hadn't seen this yet. I haven't. No, this is a. Uh, come on, you ain't seen this yet. I don't know what we're gonna do. Oh no. I don't know what we're gonna do. Come on. Well, at least I know it's not my bathtub because we just walked right by it. Have you seen this yet? Oh my gracious! Wash <laughs> <laughs> mm. and dryers in. I didn't leave any clothes in there from our move, did I? I don't think so. Did you? If they did, I don't want to smell them. It's empty. Good. Let's see about this. Empty? It's empty. Good. Thank you, Jason. You're welcome. Yay. One more step. All right, so we were just walking by. There's the wash, there's the laundry room right there off the master bath. Walking by the master bath, and y'all look. See the little white dot go by? Did there's, you see it? There's, O's, I mean, Miss Lewis, right there on the compost pile or the wood chip pile, mulch you, pile. You know what? What's that? 
Her mama did the same thing with her babies. She did. She roosted up there with them. She did. So I wonder if she might make... There she goes. She went around it. We'll still go out there and see if we can't get behind yeah. her and make her come out this way, but I'm not thinking well for the home team tonight. She for heads the for the team. woods, then we're going to back off. We yeah. don't want them to go deep into the woods. And I don't want to run her anyway. Yeah. All right, she's over there. You see her? I don't see her. You see her? On the right side. Okay, I see her. She squatted down. Yep, there. yep. She saw us probably. Man, she's so close to the darn woods. You want me to go around this way? Yeah, you want to go around that way? Oh, she's going back towards the woods. Is she? She saw us. I don't think she saw us. I think so. I think her eyes. I think her eyesight's so keen. Food orchard looks beautiful though. Look at that. Gorgeous. All right, let's get back over here. Let's see Miss Lewis. I see the babies and she's headed for the woods. Right for the darn woods. Come on, Miss Lewis. Yeah, she's taking them straight into the darn woods. She saw us. She saw us as soon as we came outside. I know she did. And she's in the woods with them already. Just like that. Maybe we come down here tonight and she's roosting. Wonder if she'll. Wonder if we can come down here tonight and she'll be roosting. Uh, okay, I'm watching her. I know y'all can't see her, but she's right behind the trampoline. Tonight. That's what I'm thinking. Oh, she's moving fast now. She was almost running. Y'all can see the. Sky is really dark. And she's at Moody's fence. Yeah, I want to stop. We don't want her to go. I think I can turn her back the other way. Yeah, I see her. Hey, baby girl. Hey, baby girl. Hey, Miss Lewis. Hey, Miss Lewis. I see your babies, they're beautiful. Your babies are just beautiful. Yes, they are. They're just beautiful. Y'all see your babies? No, she's just staying on the fence line. There they are. Now y'all can see your babies. I see the brown one. Is it three yellow and one brown? No, one, two, three. Oh, it's four yellows. She hatched every darn one of them chicks. So now it's only three? No, it's four. It's four yellows and one brown one. She hatched every one of them chicks. Her first brew, she hatched every one of them. I wish she'd go back towards the chicken coop. That's what I wish. It's a light brown. Oh, All right. man. Gosh, there's something just run by. Huh? Something just ran by. You hear it? Yep, I do. A deer? Look, look. Is it a deer? Yeah. You see him? I saw a, a just a, a flash. He spotted. The baby? Yeah. It was just a quick flash of one. There he is. Look. I see him. I can't tell. All right, so she went in the woods. We're gonna just hold up gonna and hold see. Up gonna come, yeah, we're gonna come back tonight and see if we can find her in the dark. Where do you think she's going I really don't know. Win some, you lose some, right? That's right. We ain't lost yet. We ain't lost yet. We ain't lost yet. We learned our lesson. Though. If we can't get them, if we can't get them, get her today. We always got tomorrow. But if we can't get them tonight, then. There's nothing we, we can do about tonight, it. Then, I mean, you know, we may not even see her again. I know it. There's not nothing until, we can do about it. Not until tomorrow. All right. We'll just wait till it gets dark. Okay. So, as you can see, it is completely dark outside. 
Mary Carl and I are headed to where we saw Edna, or little O as I sometimes call her, for little Ozella. She has four white babies and one brown baby. And we just know that something is going to get those little babies, the little white ones, if we aren't able to catch her, the mama, and her babies and get them to a secure location. We don't need a cat. No, we don't need a cat. And they do go to roost at night. Tucker, we don't need you with us. I just knew she was gonna be over here. Oh, my God. I thought I saw her. I just knew this is where she was gonna pick because she was over here earlier. Wait, uh-uh, don't walk up that way. Here she is, here she is, here she is. Me crawl, I forgot the bucket. Okay, I can tell you think four or five babies? I know one of Oh my goodness. It's okay. So she's crouched down at the bottom over here. What do you think? You th do you think we should try to get them all at one time? Can you turn one of the lights off? Oh, the only one I can turn off is this one. Okay. Can I put it down so you can't see? Alright, try to be quiet. Do you think if you put the net over the top of it, you're going to get all of them? Alright, so we gave it our best shot. We went and got in the car and sat until she came down and she's taking her babies to safety. So. I say just let nature take its course and what will be will be. I mean, if we have an opportunity during the day and she's in the pen, then yes, we'll, we'll get her and confine her. But right now, it's just not possible. <laughs>